then again, um, and then again, um, you first need to understand pattern on which we had a separate detailed talk. But firstly, if a thing radiated in all directions, three dimensionally like a balloon, that would be what's known as isotropic. Gain is typically referenced to isotropic, so it typically tells you how much more does an antenna radiate compared to a thing that would radiate in all directions. We explain that pattern is like uh, taking that balloon, squashing it. So in this direction, this guy will radiate more power than an isotrope. And say it radiates four times more, because we work in dBs, four times will be twice as three dBs, four times will be six. And we'll say that it's got six dBi gain. This is not like an amplifier because in other directions, like here, this would perhaps be minus 2 dBi, so it would be less than the isotope over here. So, antennas don't get gain like an amplifier by amplifying things, it actually gets gain by directing it. Pretty much like a little light bulb that will sort of very faintly illuminate this room. When you put it in a torch reflector, you get a bright spot, but remember that bright spot will be much brighter and that would be the gain of the torch but there will no longer be a little bit of illumination around you and that's to my mind always the best explanation of gain so you get something but you lose in other places this is why a directional antenna can get higher gain than an omni omni is a thing that radiates you look at it from the side it's like a big donut but it's always three dimensional so you look from the top it looks omni but because we now want gain all the way around it typically is less than what you can get with the directional antenna. So, for example, our LPDA 92 has actually got 11 dB gain, whereas our Omni antenna has got 6-7 dB. The low gain one is 2 dB, and this one is 6-7 dB. It doesn't mean they're worse antennas, because they have to maintain that all the way around, whereas this guy just maintains it at one spot over there. Um, in terms of usage, these guys are very useful if you don't know where the tower is going to be, or if you may have a new tower coming up or if you are using two service providers that you want to split and the one's tower if you look from the top may be sitting here and the other one here then clearly this guy wouldn't work because it can only point in this direction or that direction so uh, Omni is much easier to put up and gives you future proofness if other strong signals should come or it allows you to talk to more than one tower if you're in the Bundu somewhere and you know that towards town is all the towers then the directional is by far the best well, if this car simply hasn't got enough gain to get you there, then you use the directional and you typically will use one with say 8 to 12 dB of gain. Because that's a considerable boost to the signal in that specific direction towards where you know the tower is.